Hello everybody, today we're doing a video in 2006 Volkswagen Touareg and we're going to be installing one of our GTA car kits and uh, we'll start off with what you'll need you'll need the uh, stereo removal keys and they come with our kit and uh, you'll also need uh, some kind of a clip removal tool and also everybody should have something like this uh, they're pretty cheap these uh, multi, they have lots of fittings on these small screwdrivers so we need a T10 and a T20 uh, uh, Torx uh, but that's for later on so first step is to remove the radio and we're gonna take uh, our stereo removal keys we're gonna put them in facing in just like that and uh, so they're all facing in I'm just gonna Put them in until they click. And now the radio just comes off. Uh, to remove the keys, that's why you need the clip removal tool. Uh, make sure you don't scratch the panel. So we're gonna uh, kind of insert it here, bend it down, and release the key. It's kind of hard to do it. Just like that, the key comes off. Same with the other one. It's hard to hold it by yourself. But second one. So we'll show you here. Kind of just take the. You can also use a screwdriver. You just have to push it down. like that take it off make sure you remove the keys uh, before you start working on anything because these keys like to scratch and uh, so once you take it off it should be it should be released when you put in the key it goes in so just watch out for that so the next step is to disconnect this uh, harness in the back it just comes off very easy just like that <clears throat> well, we have our kit already pre-assembled so you have the module in the middle and uh, you have on one end uh, the cables that are gonna go in the back of the radio there's also ground it's very important to put it in so we're gonna put this in first and if there's no ground then this is where you need the T10 Torx so we're gonna undo it, it you can just kind of s squeeze it in underneath the screw for when you first test it and once you tested it then you can remove the screw completely and do it properly just like that so just hold the and uh, we're gonna take the harness that we took out and we're gonna press on this pin right here and take out the blue uh, socket and we're gonna put it in into one side of the kit and the other side that we're just gonna put instead of it so it's kind of like a splitter you have here just like that and uh, now we're gonna open it and put in our kit, put the harness back once it's back just plug it in and we're gonna rest it so once you plugged in the kit we're gonna put the key in and turn the radio on so right now you're in your CD, uh, FM mode we're gonna if you're you gonna press the CDX button so the car thinks you have a CD changer so once when you don't have anything plugged in or you have the auxiliary plugged in it's gonna say uh, CD4 track 7 this is normal if you're listening to the 3.5 millimeter jack as soon as we take our iPhone 4 we plug it in it's gonna start charging and uh, automatically switch to CD1 track 1 
and start playing. So we're in the in CD1 right now. So it's a hybrid mode. In this mode you can switch the songs both from the radio and from the actual iPhone. As you can see, I'm switching it from the radio. Uh, what other nice feature that we have with our kit is that you can listen to your music by playlist. This car supports up to five. So if you go to, you press disc two, this is our first playlist. This is our, the disc three is our second. So we're gonna go to disc six, which is our fifth playlist. And uh, so when you go into the playlist, it locks the iPod completely, so you can put it away and just control the music from here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And if you can go back to disc one and just switch the songs from there. It's up to you how you like to use the kit. And the next step is to, once you test it and everything works, I'm gonna turn everything off. And uh, it's to run the cable to the glove box. This we found is the best place to do it on this car. So what you need is that, like I mentioned before, you need the uh, T20 uh, Torx because you have uh, three bolts in the glove box that uh, I think they're for the airbag servicing and uh, so as you can see here uh, there there's one right here uh, there's the second one here and there's the third one here so we're gonna go and take go ahead and take them off with our T20 Torx So we just took out these three T20 uh, screws and uh, they hold this panel. So I'll show you, uh, the partner here is going to hold the radio and I'll show you with my hand so you can reach back and uh, where it was, it was right here. So, so you can push down from here and as you can see inside here in the glove box that uh, when you push it down, this panel comes off. Like there's enough room to feed the cable where my fingers are right here, and uh, that's where we're gonna feed the cable, and then we're just gonna tighten the screws back. And uh, so not much, just three screws there, and that's uh, pretty much it. So make sure you test everything out and put the, everything the same way. Take out the. Uh, make sure you don't put the radio in and then take out the uh, keys because it's not going to happen. You're not going to remove them. The only way to remove them is how we showed earlier. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this was the video for GTA Car Kits in the 2006 Volkswagen Touareg. I hope you liked this video. I will see you next time.